I don't know that it's very uh, photogenic with the trees hanging in the way or that you can see much of anything. But in person, you can see Oil Creek down there and you can kind of see a bend in it. So, oh, but I need to catch my breath anyway. Uh, took off my bandana, which is all sweaty. Um, by the way, uh, uh, I hope you don't expect color coordination here. I've got black jeans on, a blue shirt, a green bandana, and an orange vest. Uh, everything is permethrinated. That's the key. Protect oneself from ticks. Looks like the last entry is from five days ago. June 5th. So Willa says, I love nature. I heart nature. June 5th, 2022. Uh, what does that say? A100 training hike doing entire east side today. Chris from Pittsburgh. Also June 5th. Carol doing eight mile loop. Beautiful trail, beautiful day. All right, we made our entry. Just the facts. You can pause it and read it if you want. Just coming out of the woods here. And we had just crossed what is called T-587 on the map. Some road. Township Road 587, maybe. Wasn't much of a road. It was muddy. And now we come out into this meadow here. So I didn't expect this. It's a little muddy right here. Looks like basically a mowed portion through here. As you can see, it's a beautiful day in Pennsylvania. It always is. Today's beauty involves temps in the uh, high temps in the mid 70s, which is what we can expect tomorrow as well. And overnight lows in the mid 50s for tonight and tomorrow night. And then on Sunday, day three, we're looking at the possibility of thunderstorms and rain starting maybe around noon time. So we may be done by then. We may be off the trail. Or we may get caught in the rain for our last, uh, you know, our last stretch. By now you know my philosophy. Always be prepared for rain, no matter what the forecast says. The Girard Trail, marked by yellow blazes. We're doing the whole 36 mile loop clockwise. Oh, this stinks. Muddy, muddy. Squish, squish. Can't figure out where to step. Now this kind of situation is where trekking poles can help you because you can feel the ground ahead of you. You know, you can feel a spot and see if it's firm enough that you want to step there. Ugh. Yuck. So, oof, if I had a uh, big old staff that could serve that purpose. But to don't. Oh, man. Yuck. I'm hoping not to have to deal with too much more of that. So just over to our right here, we see a big old barrel. You know, look like it had a pipe coming out of it. Like maybe the pipe took the oil out of the barrel and down the hill. I don't know. All I know is, you know, you get crude oil out of the ground and then you got to take it somewhere. And I know that pipes are pretty common.
Well, descending out of these woods, we come to quite a vista. There's a bench here. <laughs> Sit on it if you dare. I'm tripping over uh, the tall grasses just trying to get up here behind it.